lazy. Lazy, y'all. I'm telling you, just, just, I made this look for the, with the ice cream box products and I was going to jazz it up. Decided not to. I'm even using the same coffee mug. Lazy. Just being lazy today. I don't think you'll mind. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is, of course, my Mamacita Bonita coffee mug that my daughter got for me when I was freaking out at the grocery store. We're not going to go through that story again. Um, and in our tea uh, mug is uh, the same thing, the Cassendia Cooler, which, as I recall on the uh, um, card, they said something about beaches and, and summers, and I'm like, that's the wrong season for that. Anyway, it's from Beach House Teas. It's a purple tea. I actually really enjoyed the flavor. It just doesn't have the cinnamon chips flavor in there. Anyway, let's get this a sip so we can go ahead and get started on a very quick, very quick one today. Yep, still no cinnamon. Oh, wait a minute. A little bit. A little bit. The cinnamon is finally starting to show up just a little bit. Tiny thing. Anyway, today we are opening our winter 2023 Walmart beauty box. This is like eight bucks. So we don't expect a lot out of this. Um, I have had surprises in the past, but let's go ahead and get started with that. Assuming I can get the box open. Open says me. It's a purple, it's a blue box with a nice white Walmart thing. Of course, we've got our winter edit card. We're going to set that to the side. Well, we usually read the top part of this, don't we? It's self-care season. Oh, goodness. It's white text on blue background. Once the chill starts to set in, it's time to give yourself some extra TLC. Keep glowing all season long with must-have skin, hair, and nail picks. Shop these favorites and find ingredients information at walmart.com. Beauty box. Uh, each box contains at least six. Assortments will vary based on your beauty profile. I don't even update mine. I did do the beauty profile, but I never update it. And we have uh, stuff peeking out of some blue tissue paper. So our color is blue today. With pink stuff showing up, so. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm not mad at that. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Folks, I got makeup. I got makeup. Okay, it's not as exciting as the palette that I got the one time that freaked us all out, but I got makeup. So, starting with, we have the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Lotion. Do you have sayings? It says intensely nourishes dry skin, clinically proven moisture that lasts 24 hours. It is fragrance free. What the heck is distyridonium chloride? Has petroleum in it. Dimethicone near the bottom. Kernel flour. A Venus Sativa Oat Kernel Flour. Okay. For external use only, we have to say that because people get weird with their stuff. Anyway, interesting. I get dry knees and I have issues with my feet getting dried out. So I might use this on that. Anything with intense moisture works for my knees and my feet. Next we have the Shea Better. It's an EOS. Evolution of Smooth Shave Better Hand Cream in Vanilla Cashmere. You'll be in fancy. And uh, this ingredient list is a heck of a lot longer. We aren't going to go into it. Sweet and nuzzly notes of whipped vanilla, soft musk, and cozy caramel. Really? Our hand cream instant 
uh, with instantly moisturized shea oil lasting protection, shea butter quickly absorbs for 24 hour hydration that lasts through hand washing. Betcha it doesn't last through dishwashing, but we're going to open this one up first of all. Safety seal! I've been missing those with my daughter. But this one is supposed to have a scent. Okay. It also said I'm not coming off. Come on. Up, 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 says me. It wouldn't be a, a, one of our unboxings for me and my daughter or me by myself if I didn't have to fight to get something open, right? Sorry about the noise in the background. We are defrosting dinner. All right, I think I kind of got it. I think I kind of got it. Did I get it enough? I got it enough. Yay! Oh, oh, it actually smells nice. Y'all know I don't particularly like scents in my products. I guess hand cream is something that you would do a little differently. <laughs> we'll see if that stays. Probably not. Just taking that little bit, it's white cream, above my lip liner test. <laughs> the lip liner is staying. Okay, I don't even have to get close to my hands to smell that. So that is a little strong. I mean, I, I don't think anybody else would smell it. It didn't cover everything on both hands. But my hands are, my back of my hand is nice and smooth. It's a pretty scent. I, I could do with it being just a little bit lighter. But that's nice. I don't normally use hand creams, but I might try to use that one. I might. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm looking. <laughs> All right, let's start with the one that I think I'm going to have the least amount of enjoyment with. We have an Elp Lip, Lip Exfoliator in Brown Sugar. Um, gently exfoliates to create the appearance of smoother looking lip treats and smooths lips for a conditioned and revitalized feel. Apply to clean damp lips and massage in a circular motion to exfoliate. Use a moistened cotton pad with water and gently wipe away scrub. Follow with lip balm or gloss to condition. Okay, so it's not actually supposed to have color and sit on your lips. It's just supposed to be, you know, put it on there. It's interesting that they put it in a lipstick format. Most lip scrubs I know are in the little pots, so that's a little different. Oh, and it's square. She's square. It is exactly like it looks on the cover. It is a lipstick type thing. Not looking for color. Okay, I'm seeing stuff now. It has a slight scent, but that might be coming from the stuff. But you can see the little exfoliators, I think, just barely. I don't know. I can feel them when I rub this way. They're there. Interesting. Interesting. We'll try that. Maybe that's something good for me to do at night. Next, we have in here a color CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Ink Gel Eye Pencil. Oh, gel. I don't use them much around the eyes. To me, they're, I, I'd rather use wet or um, a cream gel. These kind of gel liners usually irritate my eyes. They're a little too hard. Oh, I should have just done this. See? There we go. There we go. <laughs> Upside down, all around. Come on, come on, come on. I can't open things. Do we remember this? Okay, they like, we're like, this cardboard will be particularly difficult. There we go. All right, so I'm going to have to put that closer to my wrist. Oh, what's... It has a sharpener included. That's nice. It's got an own clear tip. 
for the sharpener. Oh, okay. That's actually really nice. That went on really nice and smooth. It is not, however, blue. It is black. Would have been nice if it was blue, but I'll take it. That is interesting. I'm, I'm okay with that. And then last but not least, we have a Tangle Teaser Detangling Brush. Now, here's the thing. I have Tangle Teasers that are actually, uh, this one is one lump, one big whole thing. I have Tangle Teasers where this part is all broken up so that they are flexible. And I don't even, I barely even use those. I, I use them to put product in my hair sometimes. Um, and that is because my hair does not tangle. Let me qualify that. It probably has some tangles in it now because it's dry. And when my hair is actually drying out, like it's damaged dry out, it'll tangle then. But the minute I get this wet, the tangles go away. I don't need this. I don't need this much. However, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it and see if I can find a use for it. I might be able to use it for like the times when I want to put my hair up. You know, I can just... Or if I really want it to look like an alpaca when my hair is dry. <laughs> We're already starting to get there. Oh, that's nice. That's going right in there. And it is hitting a few small, minor things. Things I'm willing to do for you guys. I don't normally brush my hair when it's dry. Interesting. Of course, now the curl is even worse than it was. Anyway, this is an interesting Walmart box. I am definitely not upset at it. I'm, I'm not, I got makeup, you guys. I'm happy with this. I got makeup that I think I can use for the most part. This is not normally my top cup of tea. I'm trying to smooch it. It's not, it's smooching a little bit, but not much. Um, but that went on really soft. So it actually might work for my eyes. And if that's the case, I will have to see if they have any of these in other colors because I'd like to get some blues and greens and stuff. I recently had to get rid of a lot of my eyeliners because they were old. They were over a year old and you, my eyes, you don't mess around with that shit. I don't mess around with that shit. Anyway, so that was my Walmart box for the winter of 2023. Did you also get a Walmart box? If so, what was in it? Did you like it? I would really love to hear it down below. In the meantime, we are going to go ahead and sip our tea and move on out of here so you all can get on with your day and I can get on with mine. I can get these edited for you, these two. I was going to do two more videos today and I, I think I'm going to hold off because I have enough videos for what I was going to do that I don't need to do anything immediately. I can wait. And with Christmas coming, we got other shit to worry about right now. And tonight, two videos is usually the max I can manage. Three if I'm doing the, the readings. Anyway, rambling at you enough. Like I said, let me know if you got a Walmart box for winter and how you liked it, what was in your box. I would love to hear it. Did you like your box? Let me know down below. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get this sip in so we can just go, right? Right? Yeah. That cinnamon is persistently being very, very mild. It's just like a, like the smell of the hand cream. It's still on my fingers and it just distracted me. Sorry. Anyway, the cinnamon is so, so very light. You get it on the very end of the sip. It has no real kick or pizzazz. That is the only disappointment. Otherwise, this tea tastes really good. Um, I just am disappointed that the cinnamon they said was going to be there is not there. All right, so that's the it for the day. That's the it. That's it for the day. I hope you will go ahead and like and share and subscribe and comment down below and do all those YouTube -y things to help us out. And in the meantime, love my girls, love my dragonettes. Hope you have a good one.